We are back at Bush Gardens. It is Mardi Gras time. There's not too many decorations up. Normally it's like all decked out for the holidays, whatever they're celebrating the front. I don't see any, but it is Mardi Gras time. So we're gonna see all the Mardi Gras activities here at Bush Gardens. They do have a little sign right here that you can take a picture next to. It's all glittered out. The Mardi Gras event is gonna go from January 16th until February 16th. We picked up, they're like these little lanyards. They're $35 a piece, but it's better to buy a lanyard with a little punch card to save money. So we wanna try all the little Mardi Gras food. All right, this is set up totally different than the other little events. So normally everything would kind of be through this gate. But Mardi Gras, the party is happening over here. Oh, I love their costumes. Now they have a bead garden here. Since you can't like flash at a theme park, do you just like take off your mask and flash them to earn some beads? Okay, we're gonna be going to es Esplanada? How do you pronounce Esplanade. it? Esplanade. Esplanade. <laughs> Street fight. So I'm gonna get the shrimp po' boy. Then we're gonna do a, a pork po' boy. And we're also gonna do a chicken po' boy. Now these all look really good. Uh, each po' boy came with a bag of chips. So <laughs> Alice and I now have four bags of chips with all of our po' boys. They all look really good. The one thing I don't like, I don't like those pickles. So those will automatically be being removed. <laughs> all right, so let's try the pork po' boy first. I have a feeling this is probably gonna taste like the standard uh, pulled pork that they have here, which is pretty good. Let's see how this sucker is. Mm. Again, the super tender pork that we know and love from Bush Gardens. It's like a subtle tang of barbecue with a little bit of a spice in it, but it's nice. Again, you kind of have that coleslaw in there to refresh you. I'm a big bread guy. I was worried it was gonna be like hard and bad. There's a nice fresh roll. The next is gonna be these fried little shrimpies right here. Oh yeah, look at that sauce. Yeah, I like the sauce that goes with the shrimp. I thought these weren't gonna be very good, but I'm honestly pleasantly surprised. I'm saving the best for last. It's gonna be the chicken po' boy. Barbecue sauce and like a glaze. Oh, look at that. Looks like amber. Who's amber? Who's amber? <laughs> That is not what I was expecting. Yeah, it's like a sweet glaze. It almost tastes like chicken and waffles. To run down the po' boys, number one is the chicken. Imagine like, a, like an orange chicken sandwich. Number two is the pork. It's like that same tender like pork shoulder that Bush Gardens makes. And number three was the shrimp. I really like the sauce that was on the shrimp, but the shrimp itself, eh. Now it's time to try one of our four bags of chips. I think for next year, I don't think they should give out a whole bag of chips with each po' boy. These voodoo kettle chips are fire. Now I don't mind getting four bags of these because these are good. I've never met a cupcake I didn't like. I don't know, I've had a lot of bad cupcakes at Disney though. Now, one thing I'm realizing, Allison and Jordan are both waiting on separate lines for alcohol right now. These lines really aren't moving that much. I think because there's so few like food and drink options, everybody's just kind of like waiting in line. I feel like they should have dispersed the stands or there should have been more of them to kind of spread out the crowds because I think everybody's just kind of condensed in this one area. I think they're just overwhelmed. The lines really aren't moving. But every single other event we've been to at Bush Gardens, the longest I think I've waited is probably like five minutes to like get food or a drink. Normally they're like super fast and efficient. I don't know what's going on today. But one of the other cool things Bush Gardens is doing is they're having live music being performed, which, you know, I love live music. Allison and Jordan dancing, and they gave up beads. <laughs> Let's see this hurricane that Allison got. This is That's actually pretty good. I have no idea what that is. That's like jello or something in there. It's a jello shot. That's a jello shot? So we were timing Allison on how long that took for her to get a drink. It was over 30 minutes. Oh, I like this sign they have up for Mardi Gras. Now when it comes to those performers, um, interesting. I do want to say the lady on the washboard was definitely my favorite. Time for the Bayou Grub. I think I'm going to get the uh, jambalaya. Allison was able to secure us a reservation out on the blue bayou. Kind of, but this is what we got. All right, so first off to drink, you know, gotta have alcohol. It's the green fairy margarita. I, I guess this is what happens when you blend up a fairy, you get this. It kind of looks like limeade or um, the avocado margarita from Mexico. 
It's green apple, <laughs> lime, and tequila. It tastes like, you remember in like elementary school they would have those like frozen pops, and like the lime flavor? Otter pops. The otter pops, the otter pops yeah. yeah. It tastes like a, like a lime otter pop. This thing's good. For the entree, I got the jambalaya. So it's gonna have chicken and, and andouille sausage. There's a good amount of spice. Normally these like theme park dishes are really like bland and boring. There's a good flavor profile to that. And the sausage is pretty good. I would give that, I think I like the standard like seven out of 10. But the drink, I think I would give nine out of 10. I really enjoy that blend up fairy, as sick as that is. <laughs> Getting down to the wire, this sucker is sour. And I love sour stuff, but like. Oh! Oh, that's some sour stuff. We're now at Savory Biscuits. I think we're gonna get some gumbo and some braised brisket. All right, so first we're gonna start with the gumbo. Now the gumbo comes with, what, the chicken and the andouille sausage, and it comes on a biscuit. Kind of a dry biscuit. I don't like that gumbo. Here we have the braised brisket on a uh, nice buttery biscuit. We got brisket on the biscuit. Say that three times fast. I think I like the brisket better than the gumbo, but I think I like the jambalaya better than all this stuff. We just take a photo right here. Um, looking back at the photo, uh, pull your knee in. The, the knee popping out looks a little wrong. Let's just say that. Now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just noticed that on the instruments, the instruments are like wearing masks because the performers can't wear masks. So that like when, where the air comes out of the instrument, they have a mask on it. Now the one thing I truly love about Bush Gardens is all the animals everywhere. It's just like an animal kingdom. Some parrots just chilling up there. You could be eating, snacking on some cupcakes next to some parrots. And the little baby orangutan was not here last time. Oh my God, he's so cute. Look at the. Oh! This just scared the crap out of us. We thought a lion had escaped, but it's just like a sculpture of a lion just standing there, creeping over this nature trail. That is terrifying. Well, we're gonna be right next to a Nile crocodile. Allison, do you put your face right next to him? He's just watching this take a chomp out of your head. I don't like this at all. Heebie-jeebies to the max. He is right there, man. Look at him. We're looking like eye to eye at each other right now. If this glass is not here, I would be his dinner. Now Allison is a penguin whisperer. Hi, hello. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. They are mesmerized by Allison's dancing. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. She's lost it now. She's lost it now. Have you guys ever like been in the bath? Well, everybody's been in the bathroom, but like you watch somebody go to the bathroom next to you and then just not wash their hands and walk out. And then for the rest of the day, you just kind of see this person throughout the park. And you just look at him and you go, oh, you're one of those, you didn't wash your hands. But am I the only one who does that? Please wash your hands if you go to the bathroom. And what's the deal with people talking on the phone while using the urinal? I Ugh. Okay, there's that. There's my TED talk. Okay, this is absolutely disturbing. It looks like they have hung Luigi. <laughs> what? Does it look like they just hung Luigi? Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, like that. that. Now, last time we were here, kind of the mass situation was horrendous. Was just, I called it like a lawless, massless land. It's a lot better this time. A lot more people are wearing masks. Um, I don't see that that many ambassadors out enforcing it though, like they were last time. But I think everybody's doing a pretty good job for being Bush Gardens. Oh, this is sad. For Christmas, this is where they had the tunnel of lights and music, and it's just 
metal bars now. And then Iron Guazi should be literally opening up probably within the next couple of months. I'm so excited to come back and ride it. Now, I'm pretty sure last time we heard this was all like boarded up. So the only wall that they have right now is just the wall to enter in. So it looks like everything is just done and ready to rock and roll. Now every time I see these topiaries, I can't tell if they're cute or just straight up terrified. Because Emma looks like he's got the chicken pox. Big Bird looks like he's about to lay an egg. And Oscar looks like he's wide open ready for some trash if you know what I mean. No offense, his, his eyebrows kind of look a little dirty. Now you're probably thinking, Kevin, it's January. The lines should be like empty, like Universal or, well, kind of like Disney. But uh, the lines here are insane. The, uh, the wait times. Cobra's Curse is a two hour wait. Every single ride is like an hour plus. Oh my God, these little babies. <laughs> They're little like Teletubby neon babies. I love that they say plastic figures, not edible. Okay, here's a shot at our little babies. Now all I'm thinking about, if you've seen Borat 2, you understand. <laughs> Here's the king's cake. Here's the little mutant baby. Not a fan. I like the frosting. I don't like the cake. Now if you ever wanted a baby without having to give birth, you can donate to my Patreon. I'll be sending one of these little guys out to you. Yeah, and the blue one. Remember, we have not eaten these. They have not been inside our mouth, but there's two little children, little twins we can send off to you. I always love the mood lighting that they put on the trees at Bush Gardens. So we got the purple and green from Mardi Gras. Look how terrifying these flamingos look down there. Now my friends, that is a wrap on Mardi Gras at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Now guys, we're back at home. Let's kind of talk about the Bush Gardens event. I honestly really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. Is it like a big grand event like Hollow Screams where you should travel from like out of state to go visit? Probably not. But I think if you're a local or an annual pass holder, it's definitely worth a visit to Bush Gardens. There's some pretty good food. There's some decent entertainment. The bead garden, I did find out, was a place where they would like throw beads at you from a social distance way. But I think the timing and where we were in the park, we just missed it. And there was also like this big Mardi Gras parade that happened that we also missed. So if you do visit make sure to ask an ambassador what time that stuff is so you can experience the full festivities now I do want to say we went on opening day on a Saturday so it's probably the busiest it'll be um, I'm sure the lines and the crowds will kind of slow down but I hope you all enjoyed our little journey I'm excited to compare it to Universal Studios because they always do a Mardi Gras event I believe that happens on February 6th don't worry we were able to go on one roller coaster we went on one of our favorites Shikra so we're gonna end the video with some little footage of us riding Shikra enjoy Oh my god. Her face goes right there. That's amazing. I love that.